Well, we're happy that the finale ended on such a high note, but it's hard to be too happy because Downton as we know it is over. Nevertheless, this was a pretty great episode and we're excited to talk about it. Sorry, my lord, but I cannot stay if I cannot perform my duties. I should have been more honest with you, my lady. Poor Mr. Carson. He's such a man of ritual and tradition, and this condition is just not letting him do his job. It's hard to see him struggle, especially in front of Lady Mary, because you know how fond he is of her. I know. Thank goodness it had a happy ending when Robert came up with the idea to have Thomas replace him as the new butler. It was so nice to see this end well. Would you like to be butler here? Certainly, my lady. You broke my heart. I'm not blaming you exactly. I know why you felt you had to. I want you back. All of our prayers have been answered. Bertie asked for Edith back, and despite some potential snags in the form of mother-in-law drama, it seems like they're headed towards a happy ending. Should I turn down a daughter-in-law who, in addition to having birth and brains, is entirely and unimpeachably honest? Somebody tipped you off I was in London. Was it Papa? It was Mary. Mary? It's kind of surprising that Mary set all of this up, but maybe she's going to be a kinder, nicer person now that she's happy too. She even kept mom about her pregnancy until Edith left on her honeymoon, which was pretty impressive. Yeah, it was. I mean, she does have a wonderful husband who's no longer racing, so maybe he'll keep her happy now. I've let you steer us long enough. In future, I'll look after your father. In two ultra-quick romance developments, Isabel whisked Lord Merton away for a seemingly happy ending. And Andy tried to woo Daisy, but she would not budge until he gave up the fight and did a little work on the roof. What's happened? Have we fallen out? I hope not. We haven't fallen out exactly. We just didn't quite fall in. Not in the way to like. Daisy's affection for Andy brought about one of the funniest scenes of this episode when she tried to use the newfangled hairdryer and shears to Gatsby herself up. Don't worry, Daisy. We have all been there and done that. That's what friends are for. <laughs> there were so many romances that I couldn't even keep track of them. I think I have them written down somewhere, though. Okay, so we have Mrs. Patmore and Mr. Mason, Baxter and Molesley, and even what seemed to be a hint of an upcoming romance between Branson and Miss Edmonds. It's been hard not to focus on the upstairs ladies this season when it comes to best dressed. A lot of times women's fashion is a little bit more exciting than the men's fashion, and it's really obvious in this show how much time the costume designers have taken to make sure that the costumes are up to par. Oh my gosh, so many sequins and beads. But for this episode, we'd like to give best dress to Daisy. It was really nice to see her get out of her usual clothes and try a new look. Yeah, and when Andy said she looked like Clara Bow, he was not lying. Hair dryers are pretty cool once you get used to them. Your feelings do you credit, my dear, but never let tenderness be a bar to a bit of snooping. And it wouldn't be a finale without a reminder that the Dowager Sass has been one of the greatest gems of the series. Yeah, I was beginning to forget what you look like. I never answer any question more incriminating than whether or not I need a rug. Don't be mysterious, it's the last resort of people with no secrets. My late father used to say, if reason fails, try force. The way every year we drink to the future, whatever it may bring. Well, what else could we drink to? We're going forward to the future, not back into the past. If only we had the choice. <laughs> yes, can we go back so we can get more episodes of Downton, please? Oh my God. Ah, your waters are broken. Anna and Bates finally have their little bundle of joy. Anna's water broke in Mary's bedroom, which was kind of <laughs> awkward, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Now Bates is a dad, and we've never seen him happier. It's been a long road, guys, and we're so excited to see it end this way. Happy New Year. It's really been an amazing season, and despite our sadness at Downton being over, we have so enjoyed recapping each episode and sharing a laugh or a cry with you guys. There are rumors swirling about a possible Downton movie, but as of now, those are just rumors and we'll have to wait and see. In the meantime, we'll be content just knowing that our favorite characters are happy. Thanks so much for watching. 
a long and happy life together, just we two, to watch the children grow. That's what I want. And why not? We never know what's coming, of course. Who does? But I'd say we have a good chance. <laughs>